Uh, Paul Jess, this is called the State Seismic Activity Program, and it has oil men sitting right next to environmentalists. And their message here at the Capitol today change is coming eventually. On the second floor of the Capitol, not more than 30 seconds into her speech, the few words from the state. governor spoke volumes. And I think we all know now that there is a direct correlation between the increase of earthquakes that we've seen in Oklahoma with disposal wells. A direct correlation, yes, but the question now, to what degree, and how do we make the shaking stop? That's where the 15-person Council on Seismic Activity comes in. We have a very diverse group of people. I'll also tell you we have a diverse range of opinions. Right now, they all agree the highest risk injection wells are those drilling into what's called base rock layer. As a result, Monday, the Corporation Commission issued an order for 23 Arbuckle wells. The directive for the wells in Logan and Oklahoma County reduce injection to pre-2012 levels in the state's deepest geological formation. Major steps. But even the governor stressed to be realistic. We're trying to figure it out day by day what's the best thing to do. I think it's important that people don't say, okay, the earthquakes are going to stop tomorrow in those two counties because they did this. And to show just how far the state's come, the governor said today more than half of the state's nearly 900 injection wells have currently been asked to stop drilling into that deep base layer. Live at the Capitol, Morgan Chesky, KOCO, 5 News.